I am not a city, but an emotion. So true for Lucknow. I have the best of both the worlds. I have best of both the worlds. Old world charm to cherish and benefits of modern living all at once. Under my watch, old havelis and skyscrapers coexist in the perfect camaraderie. Kalbar Jhala and Lulu Mall make a faultless tango. The chants of Hanuman Jalisa and the sound of Azan reach a crescendo in union. I have been immortalized in the verses of Majaz Lakhnavi, Josh Malihabadi and Krishna Bihari Mool. In Maria tales of Amritlal Nagar and Bhagwati Charan Barma. In the crisp satire of K.P. Saxena and Shiri Lal Shukla. And the voices of Begum Akhtar, Talat Mahmood and Anur Chalota. I observe Moharram like Iran, Christmas like Goa and Bada Mangal like no one else. I cook lips smacking biryani like Hyderabad, mouth watering chart like Old Delhi and melt in mouth kalawat kebabs like nobody else. From a place with rich heritage and culture, I have seen my seamless transformation into an economic nerve center. This is what Lucknow is. I have given space to all political colors and often set the narrative for national politics. Breaking the monopoly of many centers, I am the new destination for Indian film industry to shoot their dream projects. I have come a long way from being an accidental international venue for sport events to being the home to an IPL, franchisee and the venue of World Cup matches. I am blessed with a river in my lap. If Gomti is my lifetime, that fascinating stretch called Hazrat Ganj is my artery. With roots in mythology, I have seen the affluence of the Nawabi era and the time of literary renaissance when the Ghalib Mir felt at home in my inviting embrace. Later, the likes of Agea and Yashpal owned their skill under my tutelage. The Times London correspondent William Russell once wrote about me, not Rome, not Athens, not Constantinople, not any city I have ever seen appears to striking and beautiful of this, Lucknow. Russell was not exaggerating in 1858 what he saw were my ruins ransacked by the British in retaliation to the first war of independence. When the East India Company's rule was defied for 18 months. I have every reason, I have every reason to make you smile. Hospitality is my second name and my catchwood. After you, little wonder, I fascinate its residents migrants, historians, and writers alike. Very few cities command the nostalgia as I do. I am lucky. I am not just a I am an emotion.